All right, hello everybody. Let us begin day five. Babel Tower, everyone's favorite. Hello. Uh, so we'll be able to go for roughly about three hours, and we may have to take a break. We have Verizon coming today from some time between three and five. It may not be like right at three, but it'll probably be like right around there. And then whenever they leave, uh, then we will continue. Uh, I'll end stream and then pick it back up whenever Verizon's done. Uh, but until then, let us continue. Oh, good reminder. Thank you, Siggy. It's a good reminder from the game, too, because we're about to head into a gear-heavy area, and uh, we're going to want some upgrades. So, we also need to decide on a party. Um, I like bringing Ellie, and Rico probably is not a bad idea. Because Rico's gear, uh, it's slow, but it's very powerful, and we're going to want some power and... Uh, he also has a lot of fuel for his tank. And we're gonna want a lot of fuel. So I'm gonna swap out. Oh man, Billy's really good too. To have. Ellie's really good because of her magic. So it's kind of hard not to keep Ellie. Yeah, I'm going to leave behind Billy, I think. Because other than his regular attacks with gears and his guns, he doesn't offer anything else too much. He's fast, and he has death blows, but I I'd rather use Rico. So, yeah, okay. Let's go it up, Potter. Billy's really good in just multiple areas, but for Babel Tower, we want to have... means if I want to save money I can bring belly because this gear is probably fully upgraded already I don't want to talk to you I hate talking to you first and of course most importantly um, yeah, we want the 28 output, even though it's lower fuel. 87. Let's include the ether. Ellie. I just want to see. Actually, no. Yeah, even Billy would need uh, an upgrade for his gear. So he's not exactly well equipped. We haven't changed <laughs> Rico's in quite some time. He's still rolling, rocking with the 13 output. <laughs> it's definitely a time for an upgrade. Yo, he's going to be at 9,800 HP. He's such a tank. Alright, I'm good with that. <clears throat> Let's check out the parts. Let's skip all that since we're not going to be using Billy. Uh, let's see. Frame HPs. I have two of the 10s, 130 and a 50. That's plenty. <laughs> Those can't be that good though. I only have one of I have one of them equipped for Fay. 250. I would need something even more powerful like what Ellie has. But it's not gonna be that important for uh Fay or Rico. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's nothing here I need to buy. If there's anything I want to sell. Nah, I'm just not worried about it right now. Bum 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 bum. Dooby do dooby dooby do 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 do. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Babel Tower. Should probably make a decision um, on whether to go for some extra items here or not. <laughs> uh, let's. Now it should be fine. You'll find out what I mean when we get there. This dungeon's quite platformy with gears, so. I don't know if I want to waste the time in going for this. I think I'll probably will. Some of them I think might be worth it. Do 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 uh before we start double check my equipment fours are good e circuit and magnetic coat Get the response circuit. Could double his response be at forty, just be pretty good. Uh, light AR might be actually worth it, just to add to there, but it'd be more worth it to put that on. Four. Yeah, we have tons of fours. All right, Ellie, we need to, uh, let's see. Honestly, I should be giving that to Ellie instead. She needs that a little bit more. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then I'll give the old circuit to Rico. There you go. Okay. Looking good. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Right at the start. You see two chests at the entrance. Oh man, it's super dark on my CRT. <laughs> it's really hard to see in this dungeon. Can we make it through though. These little guys. Mmm, only hits one. That sucks. A thousand. I'm gonna square will one shot these guys with Rico. Yelp. No, it doesn't. Have to go with the X. Damn. I'm trying to judge how much HP it has. Huh? 
Twitch is having issues today. Um, now look at it. Okay. Yeah, they're having issues today. Thank you. <laughs> In order to get those chests, we either have to just... We can deliberately fall down and we'll end up at this one area below. Let me grab this one first. <gasps> How did I just do that? <laughs> Where are my cookies, Jeff? No. Don't take my cookies. I need those cookies. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a butt. That's Santa pointing at a butt. As you can see, there's a lot of platforming sections in this dungeon, which is, this is notorious for. so weak. Ow. It's probably because I've had no weapon upgrade for her for quite some time. I think I might find one here in Babel Tower. I can't remember. She's due for one soon though. She's been rocking that hot rod for a good minute. Another lay AR. Well, no. Don't care for that. Ah. Earth Veil. All right, so that helps defend against earth attacks for gears. Let's fight again. That's how we get it all in one turn. It can be done very quickly. Oh, the encounter rate. <laughs> in the attack on Ellie. How dare you. Alright. There's one more chest over there that I gotta go get. Because I fell down early like a dummy. We have yet to get to the hard part here. In Babel Tower. <laughs> the ridiculous parts.
Ether AR. All right, we are now good to proceed. These jumps are a little tricky as usual because uh, getting into an encounter cancels your jump. So if you're like getting to an encounter mid jump and you fall down, you have to start all the way over. That's kind of mostly the tough area in this first set, or tough part about this first section. It's just hoping not to encounter jump. Very nice. All right, so this part here, there's a little chain there, as you can see. You have to jump to that. Up, down, up, directional button is stop rope, left, right, swing the rope. Left, right, directional, and jump. Then triangle button is to jump off. If you guessed it, we pretty much have to swing our momentum. some levels here. Uh, I think we just go up from there. Um, there is a chest here. It's really tough to get. You have to like... Wait for it to go up. Oh no! No! Oh, dude, you're kidding me. Did, did I have, do I have to start all the way over? I do. Fuck. That was not worth it. <laughs> that was so not worth it. I didn't, I didn't think it would make me start all the way over from there. It's also very hard to see. Terrible. Oh, that sucks. Wow, we made it all the way to the chain without an encounter. Okay. I feel like that one's gonna be worth it though. I think we need to go for that chest one more time. It's gotta be worth it. No, it's not that tough. You just have to wait for it to come up, walk to the end, and then jump off. The angle is really weird. It's hard to tell. I think we can get it. Almost. All right, now. We made it all the way back out without an encounter. It's like the game's forgiving me for my bad jumping skills. Oh, man. 
I don't think I can jump back. It's the other problem. Like if I wanted to attempt this again. Yeah, there's no jumping back. No! Alright, we're gonna have to abandon it. I don't want to do this over again. That's... It appears to be some kind of relay station. Oh my god, that is me! Oh my god, it is Core. Hello! Oh, I wonder if it'll let me go back after here. Is it, now that I have it saved in this section, I might go back. Try it again. That way, if I miss it, I can just reload. Nah. It's over. It's done. I don't think I can go back. Wow. This game stole my face! How dare they! I should have just stuck with magic. The gathering. Damn! Alright, they got a lot of HP. Ether. I think that's Seal. I think Seal will help block against that. Oh, these guys suck. He's almost dead. Yeah, I'd say that's a good idea. Yang power. Where's the door? There it is. Gold Nuggy. I didn't do that. Also, we're like in a thing that's upside down, so everything looks weird. Oh, we, we pushed something. Comes the train. Going off the rails on a crazy train. It's a crazy train time. Every RPG's gotta have a train. Although this is more like a locomotive. Futuristic locomotive. <laughs> Got all about this guy. It's an airplane. Oof. Still one shot. Over. Yin power. Got that yang and the yin. Yes. Two chests. No, get the chests. 
It looks like we can get to the upper room through here. Hmm, we'll need to get out of the gears and cross via the handrails. Yeah, and we also need to be careful because... I think we could still get in a fight here. And we'll be out of our gears. Right. Up the ladder. Find the ladder. What's this ladder? Huh? Uh-oh. No! <laughs> well, this is bad. Yeah! No! No! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> this is what happens when you accidentally get into a gear battle. When you're not in your freaking gear. Oh my god, this game. Alright, they hit wall top. Just, just run away. Please, I'm begging you. Can we run from the fight now? Thank you, after we've just destroyed my party for no reason. <laughs> Thanks. Video game. It's okay. Omega, Omega Sol away. We needed to Omega Sol Ellie anyways. All right, now that we're on the ladder. Ah! I just fell off. Old circuit. Gold nuggy. Not that one. Oh, uh, here? Oh, this looks like the driver's seat. Alright, let's go. What do we do? Starts out slow and just like catapults. Gadoosh! I mean, when you need to get to the top of a tower, uh, I think a locomotive that goes upside the wall is a good idea. As you can see, we are making great progress. Imagine climbing this. <laughs> Where are we going to climb to? Hey, we're going on the outer wall. I'm going to go outside. Oh, yes, we are. Whoa! Whoa! Why? Why are we being shot at? How do people even know we're here? And of course they shoot at us in the one section where we go outside. Just our luck. Oof, I'm trying to jump off the damn train. Uh, of course. Of course! A Gebler ship! Yeah, 
Well, we've seen this all before. <laughs> we know what's about to happen. Whoa, fancy. Fancy formation there. What is that gear? I've been waiting, Faye. This time I'd see I was rendered unconscious by a surprise traitor, but that won't happen this time. I won't let you go up. How do they know we were here? But I removed the recognition code and tracking. Our backs to the wall. We can't run, I guess. We have to fight. Well, I mean, the excuse is that they're tracking Ellie's gear, but, I mean, you don't have to have Ellie in your party. I don't know what else the way they could know. This mall's a mall. No. I don't think we'll need to boost her. Yeah, Rico's never missing his attack. Uh-oh. How dare you hit Ellie? What's wrong with you? No, you are not a nice person. And as usual, you cannot attack my... Come on, you gotta miss one of those. Pretty generally easy fight for the most part. Just a little bit harder than a regular fight in this area. It's not over, not yet. No, Commander, pull out. Look, oh my, I, I can't retreat now. It's impossible with your wounds. Bridge, secure the retreat. Main gun, elevation 0.8. Port fire 30. Fire! Uh, we might want to move. Terrible aim. I'm literally right here. How can you miss? Oof! From above? No, it couldn't be. Bridge! Dimensional vibrations. Level 8. A huge formation is coming this way. Oh, a little taste of your own medicine. Just as I feared. Shavat. Change heading. 180 degrees. Now. All ships full speed. Retreat from this position. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Science. was that? Felt like an air attack. Let's go see. A little help from our friends above. Let's do that. Do it too fast. Do it too fast. I won't register. 
get to a uh, repair bot soon, I believe. Here is an interesting section. Is this where the door is? It is. So you actually have to get out here, and there's a door below this. Cylinder. There's another chest down here. Gold Nuggy. And an E circuit. Not bad. I believe you want to hit one of these over here. Yeah, that was that. Oh. Turn in the dial. Mirror thing. What the? Communications are up. Lock clear. Done. There we go. That's what we needed. Clear the lock. Yo, Buckeye! What's up, dude? Good afternoon. It is now 12.30 for here, at least. It is now the afternoon. All right. It's really easy to get turned around here, but we actually need to go this way. Jump up there. Ah. Ah, ah. There we go. Feels like a forced fight there. I think this is maybe. part here so you can actually jump down and that takes you to a separate area that we eventually end up at I don't know if there's any benefit to going down there or just crossing the gap I'm gonna go do both I'm gonna check ahead real quick I believe that's what that is I remember correctly.
including himself. <laughs> that attack hits everybody, including himself. <laughs> it's so good. So if you already have like some damage lined up on him, he could easily, very well easily just kill himself. Was it worth it, robot dude? Oh, this takes me to the exit here. Wait, no, this isn't it. This is the other area. There's another section here. Yeah, see, I see the path below. Of course, we have to go check it. So I think there's a chest over here. Airplane, dude. And he gets the first shot. So if you fall down that pit, it takes you here. Yeah, there it is, okay. All right, so it is beneficial to just fall down then. <laughs> First shot again. Windvale. Veil doubler. Won't open at all. There's a way to open that door. I don't believe there's a way. Do, 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 do. Come on! <laughs> so many encounters. Goes, he's doing it again. He does 800 on himself. That's a lot. That's like almost all his HP. Yo, about to hit level 50. Ice rod. That is, I believe, the gear. Yeah, here we go. I think she's gonna get another one right here. I think it's the fire rod. Now she can go to Skull Woods. See how much damage she does with physical now, even though she'll probably still mostly do mo most of her damage with a magic.
fire veil. All right, we made it to the final section. Final-ish section of Babel Tower. Finally find a uh, repair bot. I think all he can do is refuel you. He doesn't have any parts, but that's all you need is a good refuel here. Just heal up, refuel. Have a Gatorade, maybe a sandwich. Maybe read a book, check Twitter. Before we make this climb. Uh, so yeah, here we go. <laughs> this is uh, the more tougher platforming sections I was mentioning before of Babel Towers. This part here. There's a lot of blind jumps that we have to do. Look at these little helicopter dudes. Not enough to one-shot it. Damn, I have a lot of HP. The encounter rate here is unreal as well. Like, it's just so ridiculous. But there's also a lot of uh, forced fights as well. It's the same stats, I think. It's just different. It's an earth attack. The forced fights are these little platforms that we're going to be jumping on that look like the enemy. These guys right here. Still can't area hit, can I? not from this part, is it? I have to go... Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. I have to go this side. Climb up. No! Oof. This fight. Okay. I'm sure there's nothing over there. Alright, so we have to jump right on top. 
from this angle, sometimes it's a little tough to judge the distance, and there's going to be a little bit more tougher jumps like that. There's one huge blind jump that's so ridiculous right at the end. It's the last and final jump. As long as we make that, we are in the clear. These other ones are, you know, pretty much the same now. You just have to, like, judge your distance and jump. The dodge. Double level. Alright, and then it'll ride us up. And we're gonna need to jump off when we get up here. No. Alright, this section, we want to go this way. <sighs> Counter 8. It's just so brutal here. Two of these guys! Eleven hundo. That was pretty good. Oof. No, I thought that would be enough. Nah. Jump this gap, I think. Yeah. This next one here. There's a chest right there. Uh, can I reach it from this little part here? Oh! Right. For Billy. So, as you can kind of tell, it gets a little risky with these, some of these jumps here. So I'm just gonna. Almost too far up. So the problem here is if you miss any of these jumps and you fall all the way down, yeah, you gotta go all the way back up. It's the most brutal part about it. that far off of it all right from here there's not a chest over here right? this way there's a hidden chest from what I remember right here behind this wall and I think we're on the last jump I'm pretty sure we are Da, da, da. Aha! Gold bullion! You can kind of see it if you rotate the camera there. This is not the last jump, no. I have another one to do. I was mistaken. Well, this 
Still snowing outside. How crazy. Alright. Woo! So I think we have two more jumps after this. Actually, let's see what her uh, attack. She might be able to one shot these with an axe. Not quite. Almost. To... Oh, that's right! There's another screen! Totally forgot about the other screen. I still think you fall all the way down, though. You're not definitely safe. Oh, I see a chest right there, too. I forgot how long this section truly is. Billy. Billy! There's another chest over here. But we do need to go to the bottom section. Oh, this fight. Alright, Ellie. I need you to, to do your thing. You. Yeah. We'll stick with a stone rod. Now she can go to Skull Woods. But it's called the Flare Rod. Shooby da dooby dee doo. Shooby dee dooby dee doo. the last section and then we're done we're done that is to the bottom we don't want to do that water 
Veil. We have all the Veils now. Alright. Here is... The Dicey Jump. So as you can see, it's all the way down there. Looks like it's all about flush with the wall. The back wall. You can only see it when you rotate the camera. If I, like right there. I just don't want to trigger a... F well, I might want to actually trigger a fight. Before I make this jump. But yeah, we have to jump from the top. To... So I angle it like the middle of that circle. That goes up and down the wall. If you just aim for that and a little bit from the outside of the wall. And I directly flash, we should be okay. Alright, here we go. Woo! Alright, we got it. Yeah, I was definitely a little bit too close to the wall. You can back off a little bit. I think that's the toughest jump. I need to jump off there. Okay. To the right. Alright. Nice and easy. Alright. We done did it, guys. After this fight, we're going to climb up this little pipe and we finished Babel Tower. I don't even need the magic. Play a little airplane, dude. made it to the top. Tippy tippy top. Babel Tower. Really high up here. What? No ceiling? It seems that it's true. Shavat was here before. Look around. There are marks from some huge thing. Oh yeah. Is there any comm equipment nearby? I don't see anything else, but... Faye, look up! Something is closing in. It's a gear. Gabler? Mystery girl! From here, Shavat's territory. Many people have tried to get in, but Sidesen and I removed them. Wait just a minute. We just want to... Get ready. Oh, surprise fight. It's not really a surprise. We should have saw this coming. We have to fight mystery girl. Definitely gonna boost her up. I wanna see how much air odds do. Oh my 
my goodness, Ellie. I'm actually gonna turn off booster for Ellie and just have her air rod. <laughs> How dare you block my attacks? Ow! Ow! I look like it legitimately hurt. Bye! <laughs> Not even a fight. Ellie killing it. That's enough, Maria. Bring them in. Hey, it's Maria. Yes, Queen Zephyr. Oh boy, flying saucer time! Time to finally get into Shavat. Did it. Did it, guys. Made it to Shavat. Alive in one piece. Aerial City Shavat. I like to think that uh, Shavat was somewhat influenced by continent of zeal chrono trigger sorry i wanted to test your strength the queen is awaiting for your arrival above you knew we were coming uh-oh elder time they're not happy useless they allowed contact with shabbat there is an anima relic in shabbat we can't afford to have them align before preparations are complete that's meaningless if it's not compatible with our type. You want to bury all of Shavat? What of the Animus? There are others. We must respond severely so this doesn't happen again. What about the Shavat gate? As long as it is there, we can't get in. Easy. We just use auctions? I can never pronounce that name. Auctions? Gravity cannon to compensate for the time space warp. Auction? Is it operational? Re-education is complete. It is ready. The airborne squad is already assembled. Any side effects? The regulated 71st airborne should have no problems. Well then, I look forward to this. No! They're just gonna attack Shabbat when we just got here. These guys suck. This is the dock floor, located at the lowest layer of Shabbat. I met you a little while ago. My name is Maria Balthazar. Balthazar? I've heard of that name before. That's right, Old Man Bal, the Hermit. That reminds me. The gear I saw resembles Bal's gear, Calamity. Calamity? It's the prototype gear my grandfather made. We have met him. Do you know my grandpa? Where is he now? I just happened to come across him in the cavern underneath Avery's Desert. I didn't know him that well, so your old man battles ground child. Yes, but I haven't seen him for the past few years. He said he was looking for something very important, and he left by himself. My father was captured by Solaris, and his whereabouts are not known either. I'm glad Grandpa Bell is doing fine. Please go ahead and take the elevator and go upstairs. I still have to finish inspecting Sibzen. I'll show you the way to the palace when the time comes. Till then, please take a look around town. I'll see you later. Well, 
good old Maria. All right, let's go up there. Shavat, the only organization that stands against Solaris. A country that's a flying saucer. I never thought we'd end up here. It's very true. Like you see, you you see Shavat so early in the game too. You kind of forget about it once you get here, and you're like, oh yeah, that's right, we saw Shavat like twenty two something in game hours ago. <laughs> Shavat Palace. We go to the capital. I think we go to. We can go to the old capital first before we head to the palace. Ah oh, yes, time for the best theme in the game, Shavat. This track is so good. There's anything up here. Alright, so we need to go. Ah! Keep falling everywhere. Up here, real quick. Did you just fall when you will go into the door? Love it. It's the room of Jews! It's the Choo Choo Room! If Choo Choo saw this, she'd probably faint out of pure happiness. You ought to be happy, Choo Choo. You have so many friends. <laughs> Choo Choo's living Shavat. A, a guest? It's been a while. Welcome, welcome. It'd be great if you bought lots and lots of them. It's a shop. It's the shopkeep at the Choo. Finally buy DXs, by the way. It's pretty good. HP to full, a thousand apiece. Speed star. Couple things. We're good on pretty much everything for the most part. Ooh, a discount. Oh, you're shocked too. But you're just sleeping. Uh, character items. Do I need to buy any right now? Um. No, but we'll we, we'll probably come back here when we eventually do need to, because yeah, this has all the good stuff. You all say that. There are, uh, there's a specific choo-choo I need to talk to here. I may need to talk to all of them in order to trigger something. I'm hungry. Yes, I am. You haven't had lunch yet. Choo-choo, go get lunch. Aqua Paradise. Yes, it will. I do need to go down there. There's a couple things we can get. I like people in Shabbat because they're all nice. They treat choo-choos like the same as themselves. Yes, they do. But I heard people on land are all scary. They lie, say awful things, hurt and kill each other. I am wrong, right? They're all nice people, right? Well, not necessarily. Everyone's not necessarily kind and good. I see. I hope everyone understands each other and lives happily together someday. Yes, I do. 
You're awfully straightforward. I like it. I'll give you this. Aquasol. 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 Three Aquasols. This one looks exactly like Choo Choo. This is the one I needed to talk to, I think. Yeah. Except if not that one. <laughs> mm-hmm. This one too. There's a secret room in Shabbat, and that's what we are on the lookout for. Which I believe we can get all of the items for that right now. Get the secret room. There's a bunch of items in it. In uh, Shabbat. As we walk around here. But first, before we leave, we need to go downstairs. Yes. Ah, yes. We finally get to use the spider web. Remember the spider web that we picked up way back at the beginning of the game? It's the very first item you get. Finally get to use it. As you see, this fountain has fish in it. What we want to do is try to catch a fish in the fountain using the spider web. But I think in order to do that... Oh, we still can't do it yet. What are you rambling about? <laughs> Just a fountain. I get it. It's deep. So it won't let us fish yet. I don't think. Maybe I have to talk to this person outside. I think so. <laughs> Just maybe. <laughs> Pet the cat and Xenogears. You pet the dog, you pet the cat, pet the choo choo. After all, pain and only cause more pain and sadness. How come those guys up there just don't understand such a simple thing? Just relax, have fun fishing like that sage who disappeared. Yes. I see then. Do you want to try catching some fish in the plaza? Fishing is prohibited there though. So I did need to talk to that person. Aha! It is random though. And I'm pretty sure something can happen here. One of these fish that we hopefully will catch should have an item. Sometimes this can take forever. Scam Blast, thank you for the host. Which is biting. 
Uh, let's try to reel it in. Yo, it's huge! This is, I found it, this is it! Yes, the Dark Rock, we got it! First try, guys. Got the rock, first try. So that, yeah, that's the rock we needed. I think we didn't even break our spider web. Yo, first spider web. There's a chance you can actually break the spider web. Oh man, good RNG there. The patient, our patients play, uh, definitely play it off. All right. That is one rock. So there's actually three rocks we need to get. I think I remember where they all are. I know where one is, for sure, which I forgot to get. I can't remember where that other one is, though. Hey, it's the dog! From, uh, he's Lev. One of these, I think, is a shopkeep. The store's about to be closed. Gears aren't needed in this town except for the Queen's troops, but please take a look. We no longer have much business, but all the items are our pride and joy. Yo, they got upgrades. Holy crap. I'm trying to think if I need to upgrade anybody right now. I can do it in a little bit. I don't have to do it right now. Getting the dark rock from the fish is the hardest one to get of the three. There's one in the uh, world map, well not world map, but the overworld of Shavat that I just forgot to get. Super easy item. I'm trying to remember where the other one is. This stall has something in its hand. Ah There it is. That's what it was. Thought it was the doll. Sometimes I, my eyes know what it is before my brain does. Alright, that's two rocks. We just need one more rock. And I know where that is. But first, I think we trigger a cutscene here. Is... They were killed by Solaris. This is too much for me to bear. Yeah, it's pretty sad. We're 
fighting o over lives, aren't we? And at times involving those that have nothing to do with this struggle. But we might be doing the same thing they're doing if we change our perspective. There's no, no end to war and resentment. So this is where you all were. The queen said this house was destroyed in the Great War 500 years ago. This house has been kept like this on purpose as a reminder of the war. Thank you for waiting. Please come to the palace with me. The girl's probably going through an awful lot of pain. I think it was her room. I always thought this might have been Maria's room when she was a kid. Found a child's memory from long ago, but nobody could take that away. Yeah, that's a sad part. out here to the little overworld section of Shavat. One of these little pillars at the end has our final rock. It's this one. Aha! Alright, Dawn Rock. So before we go to the palace, Really quickly, let's head back to the city. Now we have all three rocks. I think it might be this one I need to do. There's a platform I need to take. those three stones we found into here. The stepping stone has been brought back to life. Yes. So you can't go up here unless you find those three stones. You have to get the one from the fish in the fountain. You have to get the one from the doll in that cutscene room with Maria. And then you just have to go to the overworld. Check the southernmost, I think, pillar area of the statue of uh, the palace. You gain access to the secret little room. Gives you a nice little tour of Shavat. So cool. And it heads us right into the very tippy top. Secret room. And you're thinking, ah, oh, just this tiny room, but there's nothing in here. However, once you check the desk, a power crisis, which is a pretty good item, and all these! <laughs> Penalphasol, Hobstake, Fizzimental, Samson's Hair, Yamato Belt, Hard Star, Speed Star, Ether Drive, uh, Vitality Drive, Strength Drive, Ether Defense Drive, HP Drive, EP Drive. But wait, there's more. Accidentally received a choo-choo idol. It's like a choo-choo doll. Choo-choo idol. Is this a representation of Choo-Choo's guardian god? You think this is what Choo-Choo rides when it goes so she can fight? What? What? Let's not imagine things. It's not good for your heart. <laughs> <laughs> I love that 
part. And I think that's it. I don't think there's another one. I always thought there was two little items you can get. Minus the choo-choo doll. You get all those items like right at once. I don't care how it all began, nor do I care what happens in the end. I just live with Choo Choo and die with Choo Choo. To hell with humans. They're liars, greedy, selfish. I'm going away. I've had enough of it. Dre. Ride with the Choo Choo. funny like when you get that you get the power crisis and then you get all those extra items you think that's the only thing you're gonna get yeah it's totally worth it though I don't know Ooh. I need a little snack here man. a little snack We are now good to uh, head to the palace. This way, please. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, it's your boy, wise man. You're finally here. Where have you been? Why are you here? I told you before. I learned martial arts with your father in Shavat. The queen is waiting. Go ahead. After all this time. Faye forgets things easily that wise man is an officer of Shavat. <laughs> Should have remembered that. He only said it like 300 times. Well, actually only twice, but still. It's the queen. Thank you for coming such a long way. I am the queen of Chevette, Zephyr. Your majesty, you, you're the... I may appear to be like this, but I'm actually 522 years old. 522, is that really possible? Yes. I and a select few of the vast vassals, vassals? have undergone some special life-extending treatments. We were required to continue living until that final day approaches because of one man. To continue living, this is our atonement for that tragedy 500 years ago. Imagine being 500 years old. Let us discontinue this discussion of the past. I've heard many things about all of you from Wiseman. Wiseman has been conducting his operations on the surface under my orders to keep an eye on that man's activities. Also, he was ordered to bring anyone from the surface who would be helped to us to Shavat. 500 years ago, we fought against Solaris for the freedom of the land dwellers. Even after that, we continue to resist Solaris, even though, or although we are short of any real power. Land dwellers, can you find it in your heart to help us? We must free mankind from the grasp of Solaris. We must gain true freedom and build a peaceful world to live in. 
uh, peaceful is not spelled right. I've been noticing so many typo errors that I've never noticed before. Hmm. All right. Your story sounds quite noble, but what is there to stop Shavat from taking up a dictatorship after Solaris falls? Those taking down the seat of power usually become infatuated with their own power and make its people suffer. However, I tell no lie when I say we are doing this purely for the future of land dwellers. If you still cannot believe us, then defeat Solaris, gain back the independence of the land dwellers, and then see if we still embrace the heavens together. Hmm, I see now. So you want to take down our common enemy first. It should do you some good if you rest in the palace and think about it. You must think about what you ought to do. But remember, Solaris has been quite active lately, so we don't have much time for leisure. He <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> I just noticed these things now that I never noticed before. <laughs> As for you, Ellie, your family and friends, you must understand that they will all have to be your enemies. Without this clear understanding, you may be placing your companions in a situation where it may cost them their lives. Yes, I understand. Well, very well then. Now go get some rest. Yeah, you have to go, like, totally kill your family, Ellie. I hope you realize that. It's like, I don't care, I hate him anyways. Faye, go with the Shabbat. Your father, Khan, would have wanted you to. Khan? I think our room we can stay in is over here or something. Is it this one? Aha! Twenty-eight hours in at Shavat. So we do have like an hour and 20 minutes. I'm not going to stop right at 3. So I have Verizon coming from sometime between 3 and 5. Uh, they may or may not come right at 3. But if we hear the door knock while I'm streaming, I'm going to have to like cut stream pretty much. <clears throat> I just have to be on the lookout around 3. Let's see if they're, uh, they're coming. But yeah, when Verizon comes, we'll uh, take a break and stream wherever we're at. Uh, he's going to give us a new modem and uh, probably going to do some rearranging once he gets here as well. Change some stuff. And then we will come back with more Xeno later tonight. I, won't, I can't go too late because I do have to be at work at 4 a.m. tomorrow. But we'll go... Uh, a little late-ish. That is the plan for today, though. Zeno, Zeno, Zeno. Queen has such a cool throne. Have you decided? My heart is set! Uh... What was that shaking all about? Your Majesty! Was that enemy? Your Majesty, something dreadful has... What's the meaning of this? Yes, that is... We have an intruder in the dock area. The gate generator has been destroyed. Gate generator? What? What? What's the damage report? Yeah, subsystems are destroyed. Gate generation has dropped 70% from normal. We're devoting everything to fire to firefighting and repairs. It will still take some time. What of the intruder? Yes, we believe it's just a lone Gebler soldier. It seems the individual has escaped to the number 17 hangar. Number 17 hangar bay? Sibzen! Maria, wait! 
It is too dangerous to go by yourself. But we can't just let the spy be. Your Majesty, we have our hands full just trying to fight the fire on the shield generator. If someone doesn't do something, it's possible we'll have more losses. I'll be fine. I can go it alone. Maria, what can you do now when you don't even have sides in? Then should we go down with Maria? It's the Gebler, right? I'm still ticked off at them. I'll take them on. Is it fine with you, Faye? Please take care of Maria. And be careful out there. Perfect timing. Then let's all go together. Um, this may be asking for too much, but would it be possible to have one of you stay behind with the queen? You do not have the combat experience, and if something ever happened to the queen... Alright, I got it. That's just a good excuse to say, well, you can only have three party members. Uh, we're definitely going to leave Rico. Because Rico is the best bodyguard you could ever ask for, and we'll pummel you to death. But also because Ellie's going to be more helpful in this upcoming section of the game. Oh my, this has gotten serious. It seems you can't get in because of the emergency security. But you are all lucky. A legendary vendor like me happens to be here through coincidence. <laughs> Pure coincidence. And nothing else. Items, weapon, armor, gear, part. Man, he's got everything. This choo choo is ready. Definitely want to get some weapon armor. Alright, now we can get. God, I don't want to spend that on the dynamite. Yeah, let's get the dynamite rod. Let's buy. Two of those. One of those. Uh, one of each of those. And I think I want to buy probably a couple items too. I'm trying to buy some extra mega souls. We're gonna need a lot of EP restorative items for this dungeon. A lot of magic. I'm just gonna buy extra Omega Souls. Yeah, that should be good. Thanks, Shucho. We head down. Power crisis as HP goes down, the attack goes up. That one's really good. Silver Beret is still better. I just got an Ether Stone.
Keep that. Looks good. Alright, let's go. So, this is also a pretty... I think we're almost at the part where I uh, stopped playing last time. I did a Xenogears playthrough, which is like a couple years ago. We are just now getting to the part where I stopped. Oh! We're stuck. It's no use. The defensive shutter is closed. Isn't there another way to go down to the hangar? We may be able to go down if we use the emergency shaft, but it's not normally used. I don't care. We can't waste time here anyway. You're right. They won't wait for us. <laughs> I see. The entrance to the shaft is just above here. When I get to the next save point, I'll be able to look at the other file and see where it is that we stopped. This is it. We can go down by entering the shaft from here. Fine. Then let's go. Man, you gotta yell, Faye. Oh, the shafts. The shafts, the shafts, the shafts. Shafts are... A little bit of an annoying dungeon. Mostly because it's long and the enemies here are super annoying. Like these guys. So these guys... 500 HP. We definitely want to kill these guys. ASAP. They have really high defense, <laughs> as you can see. And Maria's attacks are all magic. She uses Sibzin. Possibly hit both, huh? Let's see how this works. It heals them! Shoot! I don't want to use that one. And just like comes into the shafts. <laughs> Kadoosh! <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Alright, now these enemies are really dangerous. They do the amount of damage that HP that they've lost. So this guy's gonna do a lot if he hits somebody. 76. Wasn't too bad. Now their defense is much lower, though. Oh no, it's still pretty high. This didn't get lowered yet. Alright, let's use Earth. That heals him too, huh? We're not going to run from the fight, huh? I could have sworn they had some sort of elemental weakness. Try fire? Let me just do uh, a singular. So, pretty much anything will heal him, looks like. Oof. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a pain. Doesn't Faye have his other death blow? Is he still on Hagen? I can't remember. <laughs> I know Ellie needs to work on her death blows too. She doesn't even have her second one. Ooh. 
No, he doesn't have it. On this. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna approach that fight much differently next time. Probably just run from it. I don't know. Oh, Ellie got one. I don't even know if it's worth doing those fights. But I need to heal now. Alright, very important item right here. Shavat map. This map is of the lower la lower layer levels in the emergency shaft. You can use it once we get down to the floor, several levels below here. Definitely gonna want to use that. So the shafts can get very confusing. Very labyrinth looking. These guys super suck, and they could totally kill me. I can't remember if these are the ones I do not want to death blow. Can't remember. So I'm just gonna take it easy with these guys. Damn near all the enemies down here just get healed by pretty much any magic thrown at them, which is... I don't remember that. almost feel like it would have been better bringing Rico. Kaboom! Mostly harmless until you death blow them, I think. Yeah, I'm not even messing with magic for these guys right now. Oh, the trick she got right through. Oh, this is bad. That I do remember, and it's not good. They get super duper strong out of nowhere. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no! That's the crap I'm talking about, dude. That attack is insane. Goodness. Uh, <laughs> I hate this fight. It's ridiculous. Oh, the miss! The double miss! We're so screwed! I'm dead. I'm dead. 
I'm dead. Yep, here he comes. I'm dead. Uh... Shit. I either gamble the run here. Oh my god. This fight killed me before. Uh... Come on, man! Son of a bitch. This has happened before. This fight sucks. I'm running from this fight every time we get it. It's just not even worth it. Um, yeah, we lost some progress, but oh well. Just not gonna even, I'm not even bringing Ellie either. I'm gonna switch and bring Rico. Damn it, dude, that's so stupid. That's the one fight I knew I was worried about in the shafts. So we're just, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. <clears throat> Gladly skip that fight. Do this again. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick while we do this. I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? This would be better to take. get her death blows learned. So yeah, I'm actually gonna keep Ellie.
try this again. I didn't make it very far. It was like the second fight. I need to make these purchases again. Back to the chest to do this again. Oh. So, like I was saying <laughs> earlier, and I think actually this happened the last time when I stopped playing, I died in the shafts. It's that same enemy, the same way. And I was even further on in the shafts too. So I was just like, well, I guess I'm done for now. And then I just never picked it back up due to many reasons. Yeah, this is where we stopped in our last time that we tried to get through this. But we will get through it this time. Probably get through this dungeon if we can get through it. On perfect timing, right when supposedly the Verizon guy should be showing up. So, everything should work out. So the lizard fights are okay. Those blue guys can go to hell. And it's mostly because I just don't have the high-end death blows to like take them out like immediately. Oh. Not even gonna bother. Good dodge though. This fight's not worth it. Game also expects you to have at least a couple of the other death blows by now. Which I don't. Because I didn't grind for them. Alright, here's where we died. Right at this intersection. I think I was gonna go left. But that's the elevator. There's also an elevator. Switch you can change the direction of the windmill is spinning. <clears throat> well then, let's do that. 
<gasps> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All these guys. Just like right away. Ellie, she's like on the verge of her next death blow though. I'm just gonna hit some inputs here. A guided shot might be better. Kaboom. Fifteen, not bad. Zero, because we haven't damaged you yet. Oh, he's gonna do some damage. Oof, that's okay. Want Ellie up because I want her to get at least the experience for the fight. the heck? <laughs> Let's get double encountered? Oh my goodness. Oh no. Thank you. I like, took two steps and I already got another encounter. I was trying to jump up here. There we go. My goodness. Shafts are giving me the business. You can use the map you found earlier on this floor. It's always good to have a map to look at when you lose your way, right? Yes. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna go straight ahead and check this dead end. 
chest. There's quite a number of chests down here in the shafts, too. Quite the number. This should work to where they won't even do any damage. So I get it in this row. Pretty much in this order every time. They have 500 HP. We should be able to do at least 500 per turn. And Ellie's like a heart, like she's so close to learning her next death blow. I just need to get the right inputs. <laughs> what are you talking about? It totally fits. It's like a... It's a very, very... Uh, tall ceiling. You just can't see it. Battle apron! You know me, I can't leave my house without my battle apron. But yes, it is very funny watching <laughs> big giant Sibson come into the shafts. Raises the attack, but... Lowers your defense? Or is it just not that good? I don't even think you would help even Ellie, right? What's the benefit of this damn thing? It's terrible. Get the map correctly. We want to go this way. Probably flying. Hi! Definitely running from you. You're not cool. I have no problems running from you. Oh wait, yeah. Some of them I think you want to go up for. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah. Definitely gonna give that to uh, Maria. Let's fight again! Fight's just too risky, it's not even worth it. There wasn't so much risk involved in this fight. I would do them, but it's really just not. 
Come on. Thank you. Alright, that might have been worth it. Feels like a forced fight. Oh no, I sure hope it's not. Staircases. Ah, oh, this is a big one. Joe! What are you doing here? That door just won't open. This is no good. Even Big Joe here has given up. Joe. It won't open. He's right, Big Joe! You got stuck down here and he just refuses to go up. How did I totally forget Joe was here? Not going that way. We need to go to either. No, it's the, that's the only one we can go to. Is the first one. Ali, you're stuck. Also, the good thing is I don't think you can get into fights in the staircases, so that's cool. Gives you a little break. Now we're in the black section of the map. Got in this fight yet. So these are actually pretty easy. When I actually, they're actually pretty good as they help with death lorry. They die with 6 HP. And there's like no other, no matter what attack you do, it's always 1 HP. So you just hit them with all your triangle attacks. And you can take them out. Maria can even actually use some physical attacks and kill these guys, which is funny. Get him, Maria! Her attacks are so funny. <laughs> she does the hop, wind up, punch, and then she like throws like this bubbles on. It's funny. Love Maria. Whiplasher. Sounds like that would be for Bart, right? This isn't Gino Gears Legend of the Seven Stars. Nevik? This isn't Gino Gears. I wish. Nevik, thank you for the 10 bits. Gino Gears. These guys. You are forbidden. <laughs> oh, 
Thank you, Navik. I appreciate the pun. You're freezing. It finally stopped snowing, though. I can't tell from there. for forbidden. I think we want to go right to get out of here, but if we go left, it's going to take me to an item, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because it shouldn't take me to a dead end, which I'm going to guess there's an item there. Ether. That's actually really good for uh, Ellie and Maria. I think that cuts down like half of your, makes all your magic attacks half of what they are for EP usage. It's pretty good. Stop with your very dangerous saw blades. That are very huge. Get him, Maria. Yeah, bubbles. straight should be oh wait is it this way yeah Safe point where I believe we stopped. I can't even remember. Oh, did I go the wrong way? I think so. Climb the ladder. Ah, 
God, these jumps. I remember this. I remember this. Okay. Take too long. Ah. the shafts almost Took all the EP. How dare you? stuck. Double staircase. that save point but I don't want to get into a fight Ooh, good. this should be the end of the shafts keep doing that One more fight. And it's these guys. Faye hits 50. Very nice. 
Once we get through that manhole, we'll be able to enter the hangar. And down we go. Oh, well, we made it. Uh, which one's the hangar, though? I think it's this one? No? Nope. This doesn't work either. We made it. Where's the intruder? It's you again. You pests aren't making my job any easier. Dominia, what are you doing here? Dominia, is that you? Never thought I'd come across Sibzin in my place of escape. I'll take Sibzin. Originally, this belonged to us, Solaris. Dominia, I can't let you have that gear. Fool, not even knowing this gear is the point of contact between us. Huh? That child. Hey, you. Are you the daughter of Nikolai? Undoubtedly. I am the daughter of Nikolai, Maria Balthasar. What about it? I see. So he is beloved daughter to whom he offered himself to undertake that difficult task. Hey, young girl. Want to hear an interesting story? Let's see. How about the cursed secret of Sibzin? What do you mean? What do I mean? You'll understand it when you hear the story. For the past several decades, our scientists had to put so much effort into the research to create evolved gears. Regardless of how great a pilot one is, as long as it's human, there will always exist a time lag in human error when interfacing with a machine. That's when your father, Nikolai, was targeted. <clears throat> he was a genius in the field of cranial nerve mechanisms. They made Nikolai search for a way for humans to go beyond humans by merging humans and machines. In other words, they were trying to create a new life, an ultimate living weapon by connecting a living human brain to a gear directly. It would have stayed as a mere fantasy without Nikolai, but that genius made the fantasy come true. That's a lie. My father would never do such a horrible thing. I don't lie, Maria. This is the truth. Your splendid father succeeded in fusing man and machine, and he opened the gates to hell for the lambs. As a matter of fact, various data and components obtained from the war in Ignis and the Battle of Kislev were used as experimental materials. <clears throat> this is how the special humanoid mutants, Wells, were born. Wells created in Solaris were tested on the surface. Only the wells that passed the test were dismantled, restructured, and reborn. They became the gear's central control circuit and became part of the machine. It's all the result of your father's great research. Sibzin is the prototype of a man-machine fusion gear. In other words, Sibzin was completed at the cost of innumerable land dwellers' lives. And in the nerve circuit lies... Do you think you've said enough, Dominion? Who is it? Jesse! How'd you get up here? Why are women so gossipy? They jabber out about things they shouldn't be talking about. Hopeless. Josiah, you. What are you doing in Shavat? At one point, weren't you considered to be the next Gabler Command-in-Chief? Don't get so excited. I think, you've played, I think you've played with enough fire for today. Just go home. Maria's the only one who can operate, Sibzin. You should be aware, but well aware of that. Don't get so cocky. The party's just begun. But I guess it's all right. My mission is complete. All that's left is... Maria, I'm afraid I must go now. Enjoy your party. <laughs> and she's gone, Faye. She's already left the screen. Father. Hey, Maria, don't mind what she told you. Uh-oh. It looks like our guests have arrived. Let's go upstairs. Yig is also accommodated in the dock. 
I'm sure the other guys are making a fuss over it. <laughs> I have an ominous premonition. I doubt it, but they could have. Oh no, Sibzen. You're a machine for murder! Hey, everybody's here. The Solaris gear units are on high speed. Interception course with Shabbats. It would be reasonable to believe that their main targets are going to be the four gate generators. They are probably planning on finishing us off since Dominion's demolition has weakened the gate output. We have scrambled our interceptor units, but I do not know how they will fare. The people of Shabbat are not accustomed to gear tactics. I want to avoid unnecessary sacrifices, if at all possible. Yeah, I know, Doc. We'll go. We're already involved, and we can't just stand by and watch these people die. Faye. I don't like the idea of working for free, but I don't like the idea of turning tail and running from them even more. Let's do it. Doesn't matter who they are, I'll take them all down to my bright gear. Yes, we'll do what we can to protect the people here. Since the day I met you all, there's nothing but trouble. But I've come this far with you all. I guess there's no point in bitching about it. <laughs> I love you, Rico. I'll show them what happens when they take the great Rico off. I will go too. The enemy was able to get in because they let the Yig in. We can't allow the people of this country to be in danger because of us. Yeah, right on. Go for it, youngins. We're dependent on you. Especially since my life also depends on it. I have no intentions of kicking the bucket here. Shut up. Dad, could you just not say anything? <laughs> alright, alright, I know. <laughs> Why can't you be more nicer? Alright, Choo Choo's going to help too. Going to help? Choo Choo, what are you doing here? Well, in all the bustle, she somehow tagged along. What am I gonna do? This isn't a game. It's dangerous. So go back to the Yig. Okay, Choo Choo? <laughs> Be a good girl. <laughs> Choo Choo's a not a good girl. I'm in that dangerous age right now. <laughs> and Choo Choo can help. Choo. I'm going to all of you. Yeah, yeah? <laughs> the dangerous age for Choo Choo. <laughs> All right, don't come crying to me when things get out of hand. So they call you Choo Choo also. Many of your friends live in the city. You want to go meet them later? Really? They're all here? I finally found them. Choo Choo's friends, they're here. How did you, can you not like Choo Choo? Come on. Everyone, we have to give it our best shot. Here's the breakdown enemy gear units. As I explained before, four separate units are each handed for their respective generators. From the information collected in Shavat, we have a good idea of the capabilities and composition of the gear units. However, there is one giant gear that they are holding back that we have no information about. An unidentified giant gear. It can't be. Allow me to put it on screen. Oh, oh, cool screen. D this is action? What's with that creepy gear? Do you know anything, Maria? Action is the second gear my father designed, Sibzen's sister gear. But action wasn't even completed. Other than Sibzen, father didn't want to make anymore. He was supposed to burn the plans. So why? People of Shavat, hear me. That voice. No, father. I heard some interesting rats had run into there. Just in time to test out auction. I could take you and Shavat out all at once. Hello, little rats. Come out on come on out. Come on, my cute little guinea pigs. Why that why is father? Calm down, Maria. 
It doesn't mean that Dr. Nikolai is inside. But Father's voice. Maria, get a hold of yourself. You intend to lose even before you fight against the very people who made you suffer. Well, that is fine. Let us consider our next move. We must repulse the gear forces and protect the generator. To do that, let us split up into four teams and intercept the enemy. The four of us will attack independently and defend each generator to the death. The other two wait here. It is dangerous, but we cannot turn back now. If even one generator falls, it is a defeat for us. Maria, you wait here. Please, Maria. Okay, I understand. Next, the formation of the enemy gear forces. At Generator 1, there are two small gears and a complement of Solaris troops. If you not hit them fast and hard, you will get bogged down in a firefight. At Generator 2, there are three White Knights. They are very fast and maneuverable. At Generator 3, there is a large gear and a White Knight. Be careful, the large gear has some kind of special attack. At Generator 4, there is a large gear and a White Knight. The large gear seems to be a power gear. Oh, I'm not ready for the to pick already, jeez. Alright, so there is an actual order that we want to do this in. I think I usually refer to what the trusty strategy guide says. For the generator battles, I'm going to put specific gears and specific generators. So it says that we want to do Ellie on the first one, because she can use air rods and magic. Generator 2. Definitely looks like we want Bart. Or... Yeah, let's do Bart. Third one is Borico. Generator four will be fed. Definitely need to get ready. Slow your roll, Saitan. Alright. Come this far, we're not gonna get beaten now. Excuse me. So I am gonna go do some purchases, gear upgrades for Bart. Actually, everybody needs an upgrade. So we have new, uh, new stuff here. Expensive upgrades. Very, very pricey. Bart is definitely going to need it, though. And now that I am almost broke...
These upgrades last us a while, though. For a good chunk of time within the game, we won't need to buy upgrades for at least a little bit. Um, sell some stuff later. Shit, now I'm truly broke. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, now that we've finished that out. Head over here, I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead, oh, I can change party members, cool. Hey, I came here too, the inside of the egg smells like a men's locker room, I can't stand it anymore, true. Um, we're going to save the game here, and I'm going to end the stream now. Mostly because um, this next section, I don't want to have to potentially interrupt it. I want to be able to do it all in like one go. And if Ryzen shows up mid part, uh, we'll have to stop and then just, yeah, it would be awkward there. So, we go ahead and save here. Um, and we'll pause for now. Hopefully Verizon comes uh, pretty quickly and doesn't take too long. I'm assuming they'll be here right at 3 and I know they won't be. But just to be on the safe side, let's just go ahead and take a break now. And then uh, when our Verizon appointment is done, we'll come back and uh, continue. We're at a very, very special point in the game. Um, craziness is about to happen. So I definitely want to not be interrupted. So, for now, we'll take a break. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be back later today. Thank you all for watching. And uh, I will catch you in a little bit when we will continue more. So long. Pippity Poppy, give me the Zavada. Yes, sir. I'm actually going to see if there's anybody streaming real quick. For a host? While we're gone? I think Mistaken is still streaming? Yes. There we go. Okay. I'll be back in a little bit. Thank you all.